Let's model a closed binder in this video, and in the next video, we'll texture it. And if you hit the light button enough, I will do an open binder. So if you're interested in that, click the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Okay, here we go. Let's look from the front, and let's hold down control and pull up and get that right there. Let's go into edit mode and scale this in the X until we get the approximate thickness of our binder. That looks okay to me. And let's see. Let's press 2 for edge selection. Select this front edge and this front edge. Just those two. And press Ctrl V to bevel and pull. And do something like that. Let's go into face selection, number 3. Click there. Let's pull this back just a little bit. Let's select this face, this face, and this face. And let's press P to break it out. And in object mode, let's select that at H to hide. We'll use that later. Here's what we've got so far. Let's take this, go to the modifier tab, and add solidify. Let's click on even thickness. Give it just a little bit more thickness like that. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's apply. We'll make the hole now. Press one to look from the front. Shift A, mesh, circle. Now you can make a smaller uh, number of uh, vertices if you want, but I'm gonna leave it at 32. Go into edit mode. Press one for vertex selection, S to scale. Scale it down to you get the size that you like. Rotate X90. Let's pull this up a little bit. We can press Z to go up to wireframe, look from the front. And I want this about a quarter of the way down. Put it around there. All right, for the hole. Let's bring it forward. Let's go back into solid view. Press F for face. E to extrude, pull it through so that it goes all the way through. Let's check our face orientation. You'll see that this one is facing backwards. So select it all, Alt and recalculate outside. All right, let's turn that off. We're gonna do a Boolean once we're satisfied with the size of that. Might make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's select the uh, main body. Add modifier Boolean. Let's select that and apply. Let's hide that and you can see we have a hole. We'll come back to that in a moment. First, let's do some beveling on this. In two edge selection, let's select this edge and this edge. And down here, let's select this edge and this edge. And let's bevel those a little bit. Control B, pull. So we get something like that, roll my mouse up. So I have five. Shift Alt and click all these edges all the way around. On both sides, the inside and the outside. Let's go all the way around, make sure you get everything. Okay, with all of those selected, zoom in, Control B and pull. And, you know, you could probably go down to three, but I'll keep it at five. Okay, shade smooth. And now what we'll do is we'll fix this up by adding a weighted normal. And under normals, choose auto smooth. So there's the outside of our binder. Now we'll do a little bit more here to accentuate this. Let's control R, put an edge loop there, just let it fall right in the middle. That one too. Select both of them. Control B, pull, roll mouse till we have just the two edges and just to pull them out. And now we can see that, but it's still nice and smooth. Alt H will bring back that circle. But we'll hide that middle part there. Select it, let's scale that in the Y. And then I'm just going to take this face and pull it till it just sort of pokes through. 
and this one just sort of pokes through like that okay I'm gonna do this one a little bit more something like that select both faces press I to inset and pull it in a ways with both of them still selected control E and bridge edge loops deselect two for edge selection shift alt and click those edges and I'll do the inside ones as well why not Control B to bevel, pull, I'm going to have one in the middle, so I've got a total of three edges. Apply and shade smooth. And then just look at it, you can select it off if you want, you can scale in the Y if you want it a little bit smaller. Something like that. Let's save our work. Bring back this piece right here go into edit mode select this face and pull it in a little ways let's select the whole thing and scale in the X a little bit I'm gonna look down from the top now and in wireframe and one for for vertex selection select just these back vertices and scale Y zero to flatten them out pull it in like this go back into solid view in object mode and let's press slash key to focus on that and we have some vertices that we don't need so let's select that vertex vertex in that one that one and that one X dissolve vertices but let's join these select those edges F to make a face let's go back into object mode okay select the top and the bottom and we'll scale those in the Z like this. We could put a small, small bevel here if we really wanted to. Control B, I'll just have a total of three. It's not too much, just a little bit for that paper. And then the same thing with the weighted normal and auto smooth slash bring everything back and now might be better without that on there I'll turn on the cavity shader one more thing 3d cursors right there that's fine bring in a plane now scale it down rotate x90 bring that up go in a wireframe let's scale that some more to make the label to about there two for edge selection and pull it up to near there let's make sure that it's out in front We'll give it a little bit of thickness with solidify and that might be too much so let's make it 0 0.005 let's go ahead and apply that come in and three grab that back face and delete it take these pull it till it just makes contact and if you like you can uh, you can bevel those edges too I'll come in and I will select this edge and then I'm going to go select select similar length that should get all of them just zoom in on one of them control B and pull you can bring that up to five if you want and you could even grab those edges with bevel I'll just put three and shade smooth and then the same old trick we'll try weighted normal and auto smooth slash bring everything back okay we can put on the shadow and a matte cap let's call that binder all right and if I switch over to random and I duplicate this along 
I should be able to get some variation, but we'll just try uh, another. Leave it like that. Okay, there we go. There's our closed binder, very simple. Put those in your bookshelf, make them of different widths and heights, and that's it. Yeah, so we'll texture that in the next video. And like I say, if you want to see me model one of these open, then press the like button, subscribe to the channel, maybe leave me a comment, tell me how you found my YouTube channel, and uh, if I get some likes, we'll, we'll do that for you. Take care.